Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 16th of 2023. Well, it is titled M2-9 Wings of a Butterfly Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the Butterfly Nebula. And it's an example of a planetary nebula. And that is what will happen to a star like our sun at the end of its life. And in fact, most stars will end up going through this stage. Only the most massive stars will end up becoming a supernova, a massive explosion. The other stars will end their lives much more gently. And that is expelling their outer layers into space while the core contracts down to be a white dwarf star. So here we see the white dwarf star at the center of the nebula. And that is the compact core of the star that had been here previously. Now it contracts down until the atoms get so close together that their electrons cannot be pushed any closer together. Their electrons will begin to repel each other and will undergo a specific type of force that pushes them apart. And essentially it means that no two electrons can occupy the same exact states. And once you get in, get to a certain size that they cannot get any closer than that. And this is what we know as the Pauli exclusion principle which keeps them from occupying the exact same state. Now that com compresses down to about the size of Earth. And while that happens, the outer layers are expelled out into space. And when we look at planetary nebulae, we see different styles depending on how we're looking at it. And some of it may depend on our orientation from which way we're seeing the nebula. Sometimes they appear as rings or other patterns in the sky. This one may give you the picture of a butterfly as it has two lobes as great wings going out to the left and to the right. However, it is it is a matter of perspective. Perhaps there's a reason that material cannot flow out through the one axis. Maybe there's a denser concentration of material within this stellar system that forces the material to go in one direction or the other. Perhaps if we looked at this in another view, if we were looking at it from uh, say on the top looking down or the bottom looking up, it would look much more like a ring. And that's a good question because we see all different patterns here. Some can be explained perhaps by the fact that there are multiple star systems. Others can be explained by that we might be looking at them at a different orientation and just seeing one perspective on it. Now of course we can't travel out the to over 2000 light years to get out to this nebula. So since we cannot do that, we can only see it from the way we are looking at it right now. We can't go look at it from another point of view. So we have to kind of get uh, as much information as we can from what we see here and by looking at multiple nebulae and trying to, to use that to piece together a better picture of how these nebulae form. So we are still learning about these processes that actually causes the material to be expelled out and to cause the specific shapes we see within the planetary nebulae. So that was our picture of the day for April 16th of 2023. It was titled M2-9 Wings of a Butterfly Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Lightning Elves. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.